Integrating Sources for Reports. This video will help you learn how to integrate sources you have used to gather information into your report. In order to integrate data and evidence into your analysis, you must use citations. Citation is a two-part process. First, you credit a source by providing a brief citation in the body of your paper. In this paragraph, the author has cited their sources, which you can see highlighted in yellow. The next part of citations is to provide more detailed information at the end of your paper in the reference list. Here, you can see the author's paragraph above and the reference list below. You can see that they integrated their sources into the paragraph and have cited them in their reference list. For writing assignments that involve research, you are doing a number of things. One, gathering data from your work with children and parents, for example, observations and interviews. Two, gathering data from your readings, for example, textbooks and class readings. Three, integrating what you have learned from the data into your own analysis in your own words. In the following paragraph, the student integrated what they learned from observing the toddler Franco and what they learned from Berger's textbooks into an analysis of how toddlers communicate. Their analysis includes specific examples that they analyze and connects to what they are learning about child growth and development. It is research because they integrate data and evidence into their own analysis and they credit their sources. In blue, you can see what the student learned from their observations. In green, what they learned from the textbook. In lilac, what they integrated from the text into their own learning. And finally, in yellow, their citations giving credit to the source. You can get help integrating your sources from bilingual tutors at the ILC in Watsonville and online in the APA Citation Guide.